Hey, it's Around here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a video review about Searchy. And this is an update video to the one that I did a few months ago, where I gave my honest opinion at the time about Searchy. And since it's been a few months, plus the membership experience has just closed cart and I'm going through the course and so on, I wanted to give an update on this platform because I wanted to give it a new, fresh look because I know things are evolving and things like that. Plus, I had some people actually message me and ask me for an update video to see whether Searchy is the right tool for them to use in starting their membership. So I wanted to give you straight up what I think. So I created a free account and um, look, I will say one thing. I am definitely impressed with the progress. It is like really good. Like it's, it's actually quite good from what they have. Now note that what I'm actually using is I'm using beta 2.0. So you will notice, for example, that I can, if I click here on settings, I can go back, switch to Searchy 1.1. So I'm currently in the beta account. So you can create a free account and actually play with the beta account. I will leave the link in the description for you to sign up, for you to check it out. Um, but here's the, the thing that um, I, I guess there is one feature that I think is improved, not an improved, but it's been added on and that was not something that was available before and that is the payment integration and the payment integration feature is really intelligently done. So basically what it does is I can filter an audience and this could be a little bit confusing but basically I am selling my membership through Kajabi or through System.io or whatever. Now what was set up with Searchy is I, I can connect my Stripe account to Searchy, my multiple Stripe accounts, so it doesn't matter where the membership came from or what people bought, I can create a hub or I can make a portion of a hub visible depending on what payment plan somebody is on. And you can see I've got a lot of different payment plans because I've got multiple courses and membership um, tiers and, and all that stuff. So. It's been done really intelligently where I can filter people very, very intelligently. And that is extremely smart how they've done it because what it means is that instead of Searchy being integrating with Kajabi or Searchy integrating with System.io, Searchy is basically the hub for content for whatever provider you got payment from. It doesn't matter where you got paid from as long as it's Stripe it basically talks to it. So this is very, very smart. Now, I'm gonna, I booked a call with one of the Searchy team to actually discuss that to make sure that I also understand that that's how that works. But from everything I've seen, that is exactly how that works, which is very smart, okay? Very, very smart. Sorry, I'm a little blurry. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. So I was really impressed with that and that was a really great upgrade in my opinion. Um, and that's something that is great. Now, here's the thing that is the issue that people need to understand with Searchy. There is two sides to running a membership business, okay? The first part is the process before somebody becomes a member, okay? So anything that happens before somebody becomes a member is your lead magnet, your email marketing, your landing page, your sales page, your webinar, your nurturing sequence, any of these things that occur before somebody becomes a customer, Searchy does not take care of it from what I've seen. Anything after that, when somebody becomes a member, Searchy does a great job. There's videos, there's transcriptions, all that stuff. In terms of the pricing and the plan, I'm not super crash hot about it. I'll tell you what I don't like about it. I, I don't like the fact that I, I, if I pay the 29 a month, I can't remove the branding. I want to be able to remove the branding if I so choose. So anyway, they're kind of putting me in a position where I have to be on the $99 a month plan, which maybe I will, you know, because I don't want the, the branding. But anyway, I'll decide that in the next couple of weeks to see if I want to stick around. I'll probably sign up minimum on the low plan um, because the low plan gives me access to the account, which means... There is people who are probably in my tech support membership who want my help on Searchy. So I want to have an account where I can go in and record videos, record tutorials, build up the channel as well. Like I know people on this channel are interested in this type of thing. So I'll keep the Searchy account strictly so I can help build my YouTube channel and help 
create tutorials on my tech support members, basically. So that's pretty much a given, right? In terms of me using it for my full membership or not, I'm, I'm still kind of seeing the evolution of it. But one thing for sure is it is great for the content side. So what it means is that Searchy is great to add on to something else. For example, System.io, which is what I use for my funnels, for my landing page, for my webinars, for my uh, virtual summit, which I'm planning on doing, my email marketing, all that stuff. All that stuff has to happen and that is separate to the membership. So when somebody comes to me and it's like, should I use Searchy for my membership? I say, yeah, sure. But what about your marketing? How are you getting customers? And then they're thinking, well, it's, that's what Searchy is for, right? No, it's not. Searchy is for the post-sale process. The pre-sale, that needs to be something else because Searchy does not have those things. Now, it does kind of have landing pages, stuff like that, but it's not, it's not the same, okay? It's just not. So anyway, that's my take. That's my little update video. I want to keep it short and sweet. Uh, I will leave the link below so you can check it out, create a free account and, and test it out for yourself. Um, again, in my tech support membership, I am going to serve people who are also struggling with search or need help with it or anything like that because I know I've got people in my membership who already are using it. So I'll kind of add that as an add-on to what I'm already doing. So there you go. That's my little update video. So you want to use Searchy? Go for your life, but just realize it is heavy video content. That's really what it's for. And if you've got a lot of videos, you're doing group calls, all that stuff, you've got 20, 30, 40 videos already, go for it. If you're just getting started, just focus on a marketing machine first, which is your funnel, your landing page, your and all that stuff, okay? So that's kind of my take. Hope you find value in this. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you have any questions? I'd love to hear from you. That's about it. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you soon.